Hello guys, Harry here. Today I'm going to give you an insight into what it looks like to run a 10K a month personal brand um, on a day-to-day -day basis, right? You see all of these fucking ridiculous YouTube channels, they're like driving around Ferraris and stuff like that and like showing you all this flashy stuff. I just wanna give you like a, a genuine like, this is probably more more realistic of what your day would look like if you got to this point right? you're, where, you're, where you're built, you've built like a 10K a month business, what that actually looks like. And for those of you who don't know how, know how I make my money, um, basically I built a, a personal brand on Twitter as a copywriter, right? If you don't know what copywriting is, it's basically writing with the, uh, with the intent to convince someone to do something, right? And typically convincing to do someone to do something, what that means is convincing them to buy something, right? That's what I do. I do that for clients. I, um, I, I write emails, I write content for them, which convinces people to buy their products. Um, and I also run a separate uh, stream of revenue, which is basically coaching people who want to do a similar thing to me and helping them to get to that goal. Um, so that's how I make my money and that's that's how I've earned, uh, I think it's like 12K a month at this point. Um, well, let me just give you an insight into what my day actually looks like while I'm doing all that. Well, basically, the core of my business is just writing content. That's what I do for a living. Um, now, before I go into this, what I want to say is I do not have a nine to five, right? I am well aware that a lot of you watching this will be in a nine to five. And so this may feel like something you can't achieve at the moment um, because you don't have the you don't have all day to to spend writing content building a business, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, that is completely fair enough. Uh, what I will say is that I built the base of my business while I was working 9 to 5 and it only took me a couple of hours a day. It's very, very achievable and it is something that you can do and it's something that I, I teach people to do in my newsletter. Um, I do that every day. Um, but if you are interested in, in what it actually looks like on a day-to-day -day basis for me, here is the rundown, right? I get up at 6 a.m. Um, I'm a pretty early riser, uh, I, and that has definitely been become more and more true um, as I've grown my own business, right? When I used to work a nine to five, I used to find that I would wake up in the morning and I'd wake up at like seven. I needed to be out of my house by like eight, quarter past eight sort of time. I would just lay there on my phone. I was fucking watching videos, um, like watching like stupid Instagram reels and shit. And I just didn't want to get out of bed because like I ultimately didn't want to go and do the work that I knew I had to do. Whereas these days, because like I actually enjoy writing, like copywriting to me is just like the best thing in the world. Like I get to be creative. I get to think about different ways to solve problems and I just write content around that and I get paid to do it. Like that's like the most fun thing in the world for me to wake up to. Um, so I, I tend to just wake up now and just get straight out of bed and basically like I'm, I'm ready to go. Like the, the day's mine, right? Um, I get up, do all the boring shit, shower and all of that. And then I walk down to a coffee shop uh, near me because I have found that Working in an environment that isn't my home allows me to, first of all, just not get distracted by just general shit like doing the washing up, doing laundry, all of that stuff. Like, I just find if I'm if I sit at home, I just and I'm just doing random shit like eating and like all of all of that. Just, I just don't want to do that in the morning. I just want to get out, I want to write, and I, I, I want to just get my work done. Um, so I head down to a coffee shop. Um, but I'm, I'm in there at maybe like seven o'clock um, and that's when I start writing. And the first thing I do uh, on any given day is I write my newsletter, right? That is how I, how I make money is basically comes from me sending out an email in the morning. I literally, that that is how I earn 10K a month. I, I send out an email. Um, it takes me roughly like 60 to 90 minutes. And those emails typically focus on helping people who are also interested in copywriting and who are also interested in building a personal brand that makes them money. Um, in terms of how I write those newsletters, right, what topics I come up with, typically I, I have an idea in mind um, that I want to talk about. Maybe that's helping someone craft an offer. Maybe that's helping someone uh, learn a little bit more about copywriting, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and then I think of an angle that I can take, which obviously leads them into why they need my my help to do that and my, my paid help or leads them into why they should choose me as a client to help them sell their own products, right? Ultimately, these are sales letters that I'm sending out, but they're also useful in their own right. If so, that's that's kind of how it runs. Um, 
And then as our, once, once I've sent those out, that, again, that takes me maybe 60 to 90 minutes in the morning. It's like eight, half eight at this point. Honestly, I'm pretty, pretty fucking drained. Like if you've ever written a intense, if you've ever spent a, a period of time writing like an intensely focused piece of content where you genuinely are thinking about every single word and, and how it all ties together, the logical flow of it, it's fucking exhausting. It's really, really tiring. So at this point, I typically go out, just have a little walk, reset my mind, and then I come back in and I do all of my sort of project work. So that might be building a new product that I want to sell to people. That might be um, build, building out like uh, free products that I, I'm going to launch on Twitter, right? That That's where I, I, I get all of the people, that's where I feed all of the people from into my newsletter. Um, that's where they all come from in the first place. I might be building up a free product that I could just... Uh, launch onto Twitter to display my expertise and get people to, into my newsletter. Or I might just be building out some some longer term plan that I have. And I typically spend another 90 minutes or so doing that sort of work, right? Uh, at that point, it's like 10 a.m. I'm honestly pretty fucking hungry at that point. Um, and people at the cafe have probably started to piss me off. Um, so <laughs> so I, I tend to head home around that point. I go home, back home at like maybe like half half 10 11 and i spend like an hour an hour and a half doing client work right i've got existing clients either that's my coaching guys and they've got questions for me and they've sent me messages asking me like oh how does how do i do this um how do i handle this this issue etc etc so i had all of that stuff off um, and then i've also got like actual freelance copywriting work to do right i've got uh, emails to write i've got um uh, tweets to write. I've got la I've got landing pages to build. I've got sales letters to write. And that sort of stuff. Again, I, I spend about an hour, an hour and a half on that. And by about I would say twelve p.m. twelve p.m. Uh, half twelve, I'm basically done with work for the day. Like I've closed out all of my client work. Like it's all pretty much done. And that is basically the core of that is basically all of my business. It's basically from seven a.m. to twelve p.m. I basically write content, uh, I, I either for myself or for my clients, and then after that, I'm pretty much free to do whatever I want. I just spend the rest of my day going on walks, going to the gym, uh, hanging out with friends and stuff. Like, I, I read quite a lot. I read a lot about copywriting. Like I, I have a goal of being an extremely, extremely prolific copywriter in the coming years. I really, really want to want to be an extremely prolific copywriter i want i want to be remembered as someone that was really really good at that craft um so i i am dedicating a lot of my time to that at the, at the moment um and i also like i won't lie i definitely uh because i enjoy writing i also spend if i get a few spare hours i will definitely spend more time building up certain projects that I'm working on. If I'm building a course, if I'm building a community or something like that, I'll spend a lot of time, I'll spend a few a few more hours, but it's not really what builds my business, right? What actually earns me money is those first few hours of the day and anything else I, I spend time working on during the day, that's just like because I fancy it. It's not really what, what builds my business. Um, and I don't spend a lot of time on Twitter these days. I, I post a few tweets and I reply to a few comments, but I just see it as such a low leverage task, right? And so if you want to build a personal brand, my my attitude is go onto Twitter, especially as a copywriter. If you want to build a personal brand as a copywriter, go onto Twitter, demonstrate for a couple of months that you understand how to write good content, that you can write persuasively, that you convince that you can convince people to do stuff. And then get people into your newsletter, right? Newsletter is where the money is made. You're not going to make money actually sitting on Twitter, replying to all these comments, doing all, all this shit. Uh, just get people into your newsletter and then pitch them your pitch them your products and your services in there. That's that to me is way way more effective. I've seen substantial increases in my revenue ever since I focused purely on my my newsletter. Is what I would advise you to do. Um, uh, yeah, but. Uh, Anyway, guys, if you, I, I hope that was somewhat insightful into what my day looks like. It's basically seven a.m. to 12, 12 p.m., and then my my work day is done, which is a bit of a contrast to how I used to spend my nine to five. Right? It was like, I my nine to five used to basically, obviously, you get sold, and it was like it's nine a.m. till 
till 5, 6 p.m. But it, it really isn't, right, if you think about it, right, because you, you have to get up at 7 p.m. so you can go and shower and get ready. Then you have to do like a 30-minute, 40-minute commute. By the time you're in, it's 9 o'clock. Then you spend the whole day at work. You don't really get a proper lunch hour because you're like faffing around with buying lunch out. Then you leave at like 5, 6. And you, by the time you get home, it's like 7 o'clock, you cook dinner. Your your day is basically 7 till 7 at the at the minimum. And you get sold this this pipe cream where it's 9 to 5. It really isn't that. Um, whereas now, it's like I wake up, I, go, I walk down to a coffee shop, I spend a few hours in there writing content, which I actually enjoy. I come home, I work on client stuff for like an hour or two, and I'm done by like lunchtime. It's like night and day difference like I, I can't explain how much more enjoyable this life is if you are interested in doing that for yourself if you are interested in building a personal brand if you're interested in learning about copywriting and, and how it can make you a lot of money and ultimately set you free from a, a nine-to-five which you maybe don't enjoy then what you what i want you to do is subscribe to my newsletter right there's i think there's nearly two thousand people in there that read my emails on a daily basis i give you tips on how to build a personal brand, how to get started in copywriting and how, ultimately how to earn money from it. Um, so yeah, check out the link in the description below um, and also give this video a like, uh, comment if you found it useful and, and subscribe to the channel. I'll be releasing more content like this in the future. Okay, later guys, bye.